All right. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, this is work uh, that I've. Oops, sorry. One second. Yeah, this is work done during my internship at Google. Um, so, image captioning is an interesting problem that sits at the intersection of language and vision, but it's also an ill defined problem. Uh, for the given image, there are many correct caption sequences, and here are some examples from the Coco data sets. And we can see that from the caption sequence, each sequence focuses on a different aspect of the scene. And this makes evaluation very difficult. Uh, and this also shows in how existing syntactic metrics have been uh, ranking humans below automatic models. And last year at ECCV, Anderson and others showed this and proposed SPICE, uh, which, uh, which is a new metric that parses captions into scene graphs and then compare graphs instead of captions. This is a great idea, and they show that SPICE correctly rank humans above automatic systems. However, if we take a step back, a good metric should really have two properties. Um, good captions should receive high scores on the metric. People have been showing this by correlation analysis, like, like what was done in the SPICE paper. But really, the other direction must also be true, which is to say that captions that get a high score on the metric must also be good captions. We propose to show this by directly optimizing these metrics. And we look at three uh, metrics in particular. SPICE by itself, which is purely semantic, BCMR, which is a combination of synthetic metrics that was also used for a cocoa evaluation uh, at the time of the, this work. Spider, uh, which captured both semantic and synthetic aspect of captions. Uh, unfortunately, none of these uh, metrics is differentiable, so we cannot directly backpropagate through them. However, we can instead frame captioning as a reinforcement learning problem where states are partial, partial sequences, uh, and the policy is the probability of picking a word from the vocabulary given the partial sequence. Policy gradient from RL literature gave us a uh, policy gradient estimator, uh, which is unbiased but has a f high variance. To reduce the variance, we estimate action value Q by averaging over K Monte, Car Monte Carlo rollouts. Here in blue, it's going to show up, uh, are the rollout sequences, and we can batch all the rollouts in one forward pass quite efficiently. Uh, so this shows that uh, we we get an estimator that's much lower variance if we compare this to the pre prior work, which also used reinforce. Uh, and we can also do without the annual training schedule that, that was necessary in the, pre, uh, in the prior work. This is the blue score on validation set over a million training, training steps when the model is optimized for BCMR. Our model is extremely simple. We try to stay close to the original uh, show and tell paper from 2014. Uh, and despite its simplicity, when optimized for BCMR, our model actually ranked first on Coco leaderboard temporarily. <laughs> and PG Spider also performed uh, competitively. However, what we really care about is the human evaluation. And our results show that the human ac uh, humans actually prefer PG Spider to be BCMR by a margin. For reference, human baseline sits at 87%, which is sti still significantly higher than existing models. Here are some generative sequences. Uh, we can see that when we optimize only for SPICE, uh, PG SPICE produces very repetitive and verbose captions, which shows that without synthetic regularization, captions with higher SPICE are not necessarily better captions. BCMR often gave us correct captions, whereas SPIDER gave us even more uh, detailed cap descriptions. Uh, thank you. Please work, uh, come to our posters. Now it's 13.